Have you ever struggled with keyword research? Maybe you're launching a brand new product and you're trying to figure out what keywords you need in your listing, or maybe you already have a product that's live on Amazon and you're looking to potentially optimize it for better keywords or to try to launch a PPC campaign. Hi, my name is Aaron Farrell with Sellers Arena. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a tool that you can leverage in order to do this keyword research and make the product process simple and easy. Stay tuned. All right, so hopping right into this here, I'm actually in the tool that we're gonna be using today called Zonguru. And in order to get to this particular section, what you're gonna to wanna to do is once you log in, you're gonna click on listing optimization, and then you're gonna to go to keywords on fire. And then it's gonna load this screen and you can see I've actually already got something preloaded here, but I'm gonna use a new search so you can kind of take a look and see how this works so basically the first thing i was going to do is search a phrase so actually you want to click on add products by phrases and let's say dog bones for example i'm gonna hit search and this is going to actually bring up all of the top results for dog bins. And you can just simply click on select all if you want. It's usually the easiest way. And then once you've done that, just kind of go through, scroll through these and make sure that there's nothing in here that could be potentially not relevant to your brand or your product, right? But if you do find anything, you can obviously uncheck it and it won't add it, but you can do a maximum of 25 products. And then you just hit the add products button and it's gonna go ahead and enter in all of the ASINs in here. Now you can do this manually as well. I mean, if for example, you want to go and try to seek out, let's say brand new products that just launched, maybe you wanna kind of compare yourself to those instead of these top, competitors or a little bit more broad rather keyword when you're doing the searches by phrase for example so next thing that we're going to want to do is add in a session name i'm just going to call this dog bones make it easy you can add tags uh, if you've got a bunch of things and you want to filter it out but i'm going to leave that blank for now and then i'll just hit run keyword analysis and then boom fresh data is on its way once it pulls it in then we'll we'll actually start to get the data here but as this is working i want to go through uh this previous one that was already ran but 24 products under vanilla paste just so you can get an idea of how it works i just wanted to show you kind of how you can go about adding the product so what you're going to want to do is actually click on this eyeball right here and it's going to go directly into this and just gonna move my face out of the way a little bit so you can see this better but what this does in a nutshell is it goes through all of the relevant keywords that these products these top 25 products are ranking for and kind of does a dedupe or deduplication of all the keywords that are essentially kind of repetitive for example or as we're waiting here the other one completed so maybe we'll hop into that instead just so you can see a live demo but you can see the total revenue in this category much higher than even the vanilla paste below but we can also see the total search volume all together collectively right and then the different unique keywords so this breaks it down to 348 unique keywords which is really really good in keyword research if you've ever tried going through helium 10 or something like that definitely enjoy helium 10 but there's a lot more filtration that kind of goes into it right to get down to these unique keywords that you actually want to see unless you do maybe like a reverse ASIN this is kind of similar to that but let's go ahead and hop into here and now we're gonna see all the different keywords for this and basically what Zonguru does is it ranks it from most important to least important through their what they call their ZG score so you can see this right here 100 is the highest score that you could possibly get and then it just goes down from there the other information that you can find is 
basically looking at these keywords and seeing what the keyword dollar amount is across that whole keyword in terms of monthly revenue, right? At least for the top 25 right here, it says estimated combined monthly revenue that this keyword is driving for the listings ranking in the top 25. So it's only taking those into consideration, not across the whole category, but you can really quickly and easily see all the different search volume across the different keywords. And then you can see out of those top 25 competitors, how many of those are actually ranking, right? So out of the top 25, this is the number of competitors that rank in the top 25 for this keyword. So there's only 13 for dog bones for medium dogs, for example, CG launch score, which is uh, basically like a CPR score. Number of units you should sell within a seven to 14 day period if you're trying to rank on the first page. So that's very, very valuable information as you're launching a brand new product, or even if you have an established product and you're looking to try to move the rank of your current product on that keyword, maybe you're targeting really hardcore on PPC keyword a pay-per-click keyword and you want to try to increase that sales volume so now all of a sudden you're showing up on the first page well this is going to give you a little bit of insight and the great thing that i forgot to mention is that zonguru is actually a partner of amazon so all the data that they're actually pulling in is exact data directly from amazon it's not just some estimation that you might see now in terms of the revenue i'm not sure on that portion of it i think maybe that could be estimated in some form or fashion but it's even going to tell you, you know, like the different percentages of the listings that actually have that keyword in their title, right? So if you're looking to optimize a current product that you have and you're seeing like in this example, only 16% and only 8% actually are doing an exact match. If you highlight it, it shows you that, but maybe you throw that keyword into your title and now all of a sudden you're ranking much higher because none of your competitors or the top competitors aren't doing it right so you can find little holes in the market so to speak and different ranking opportunities based on optimizations now the other thing that's cool is ppc bids it's estimating in terms of how much you would have to bid on each of these keywords so this one for example is two dollars and 39 cents per click quite high but obviously you can scroll through and there's even some that go up to five almost six dollars a click so sky's the limit on that right but the other thing that's cool is just looking at the top three and how much they're making off that keyword the top three of your competitors or of this list how much money are they actually generating so just on the top three they're generating about 60,000 versus the 165,000 across the whole 25 just the top three so that really goes to show you too how much of the market share is actually taken by the top three spots on Amazon also right top three clicks that's another thing so in terms of when people are seeing the listing out of those top three it says it's a combined percentage of the clicks that the top three listings receive versus the other one so they're receiving about a third of the actual clicks and converting a little more than a third of the actual clicks on this particular keyword now the other thing that's really really cool too is that you can see each and every one of these items and where they're sitting uh, in terms of their ranking so for example this one right here is number 121 on the ranking even though it was top for our specific dog bones keyword right it was at least in the top 25 but you can look across this all of the different competitors and all the different keywords and see where everyone else is ranking and if you see one that does really really well well maybe all of a sudden now you know to try to reverse engineer it more or less and kind of go in and see what exactly are they doing that is allowing them to have such a great position right so this one like is number one for example and i can open this in a new tab but if I scroll over, it's number one dog chews, but not dog bones. So we've already identified another keyword, right? And actually it looks like it didn't open up, but let's see if I, okay, I just got to click on here and then there we go. All right. So yeah, now it's number one bestseller in dog bones, but 
for some reason, let's see here. Dog Chew, scroll back over here. Sorry, I actually looks like I clicked on the wrong one. That one's not ranking or it's not showing at least right now. But anyway, you get the point here. It's, it's essentially a way to really look at a high level across all these different products and see which ones are ranking super high and kind of try to mimic those keywords, right? Because if you're finding two or three different products that are really ranking well, then now all of a sudden you can actually go ahead and use the optimizer and try to find out the specific backing keywords that they're using right or you can just try to reverse engineer more or less what they're doing now the other thing I wanted to show is this filter so a lot of different things that we can do you know top three keyword you can filter by top three clicks, top three conversions, PPC bids, keyword title, price, and the list goes on. But basically, let's say for example, on a keyword, maybe we're looking through these and we're still seeing some issues with some of the keywords. Maybe they've got brand names in them or, or something like Dreambone. I believe that should be probably a, a brand name. So what I'm gonna say is if keyword does not contain Dream, Whoops, I don't know what I was typing there. <laughs> Uh, if I do dream and then I hit filter, now all of a sudden I'm gonna get rid of that and gonna have a lot too much smaller. It's only down to 332. But as you go in and as you're starting to identify things, now all of a sudden you're gonna be able to filter down more and more and get this list down smaller and smaller because you really don't need a thousand keywords, right? You just need the ability to have enough keywords that are going to be the most impactful in order to kind of start maybe an exact campaign or broad campaign, phrase campaign, just PPC campaigns in general. You've got some insight in terms of what's really working in that particular space, or you can use them again for the listing optimization, which I'm not going to cover in this exact video, but we get the point there. So now the next thing is if I were to just click on this keyword and I can go down here, I could export it to a CSV. I could add it to keyword tracker. I can even save this filtered view right um, and then when I do go to the listing optimizer now all of a sudden I can go in here go to add and I could import it directly from keywords on fire and then I would select my particular session and then I would hit load and then that's going to bring it in here and actually allow us to see listing scores search volume all this different information right and basically once you get here it's going to allow you to kind of go in and try to utilize these keywords much like scribbles if you've uh, seen that before but basically this is a way to add in the keywords or save a session from keywords on fire now you also have the option to add manual as well so yeah basically that's it for the keywords on fire software just wanted to do a quick overview of the software itself so you could kind of get to know how to use it i've actually locked in a special for you guys a free 30-day trial and 25 percent off i think it's for the first month but don't quote me on that the link will actually be in the description below if you're interested and if nothing else yeah you can get that free trial try it out see if you like it compare it to Helium 10, whatever you might want to do. And I hope this video has been informative for you guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.